But growing up, uh, there's things your mom and dad go through, and uh, as a kid, you just don't realize how, you know, how impacting certain things are. And uh, this, this next song is really the first song that uh, I came out, I guess, publicly with, uh, as far as a trucking song goes. And uh, it kind of got the wheels turning for me as far as uh, trucking music and uh, getting in touch with the truck stops. And it's called the 18 Wheels of Jesus. And uh, there's a guy earlier, I don't know if he's still here, not even showing me a the 18 wheels and Jesus moment on his phone, the, the accident that uh, he uh, that he had that he probably should not have survived and he walked out uh, without a scratch. And uh, my dad had an accident like that back in 1984. And uh, it's kind of a funny deal, you know, when you, you get to thinking, you get older. And I was like probably 11 years old, ever how, ever how old I was at that year, I don't remember. But anyway, uh, my mom was very religious, you know. We, we grew up in church and... Uh, and my dad was anti-religion. I mean, he believed in God, but he liked he liked his cores and and beer and having fun. And uh, mom was always praying for dad that he'd come to church, you know, and find the Lord. And anyway, we were I remember sitting at home in Lomansville, Kentucky. I, we lived right off US 23 at the bottom of what they called Watermelon Hill, and uh, we was watching one of the three channels that we got back in those days, if the weather was good. And uh, I was watching the Dukes of Hazard of all, of all shows, and uh, I remember my mom walked over and turned the TV off. And you, you don't turn the TV off in the middle of the day on Dukes of Hazard, but she did. And we're like, what are you doing, woman? And, uh, she said, don't you call me woman? I said, but anyway, we didn't say woman either. But anyway, she said she'd had a, and she just had an uneasy feeling about Dad, and she wanted us to say a prayer for him. And uh, so that's what we did. I remember my mom and my two brothers and me, and was just around the coffee table, and and, you know, she said a prayer, and we went on about her day. And uh, about 1.30 the next day, here come a flatbed pulling into the driveway with what was left of my dad's truck strapped to it. And that thing was just demolished. You know, and, and back in the day, we didn't have cell phones. You know, dad couldn't call my mom and let her know what had happened. He was, you know, down in Alabama. And so, uh, anyway, the truck pulls in there, and he comes walking out with his arm in a cast and some tape wrapped around his ribs. And, I can't believe you're in one piece. Well, what a deal, you know. And I remember Mom running out that door, and you know, cause we seen the truck first. And didn't really know what had happened, and she seen Dad, and she was so happy to see him. And uh, I got to thinking about all that later on in life, and uh, being a songwriter, of course, I always wanted to kind of write a song about that, if, you know, if I could write one good enough. And this is what we come out with. I mean, this song has just really treated us so well, and it really got the ball rolling for me. And I always dedicate this one to my dad. He passed away in 2007. Uh, it's not a day goes by that I don't thank of him and thank him for what he taught me to do. On a long and lonesome highway Just south of Birmingham On a long... See, I forgot the words. We'll start all over because you can't mess this song up. On a long and lonesome highway, just south of Birmingham, with a load of steel on 18 wheels, was a tired truck driving man. A long, hard week And not much sleep And began to take its toll They said he never hit his brakes As he left the road Waiting back in old was his precious family, his three kids and loving wife were down on bended knees, like all the nights before, as God to keep him safe. And 
Yeah. 